Well, here's how I did mine. I've got a hanger for the glad hands coming. I'll mount that someplace over here. And I ran the lines up through that piece there and up above and down into the generator compartment, which we'll get in here. And they come in up here and come down to the valve and regulator. Let me back off here so we get a little wider view. There's the master cylinder I attached on the side of the box with my valve block for the electric setup and so on here. Then I tapped into the wires for the electric setup and that's probably not totally kosher, but I put the switches in there and if you can see back there, I do have a, a backing plate for the master cylinder to handle its weight. And uh, if you saw before my mount and so on for the tank sitting on top of the generator box, the coiled cable there is my breakaway cable for the electric system. And I just pulled that off and zip tied it there so it wouldn't get lost. So that's where we are with this. I bled probably a quart of fluid through it. I never did get any air bubbles down at the calipers. They seem firm. I'm going to test drive it over the weekend here, and hopefully the system will be okay. And maybe bleeding it up here through the lines from the electric to the air system. Got the air out of the short pieces of line that I put in up here in the valve block. I know there were bubbles come back through the... Uh, air master cylinder so hopefully that took care of all the air in the hydraulic system there so there we go